Happy New Year, everybody. As you can tell right now, I have some towel dried down hair, and I'll be looking at another classic pomade review. This one has actually been requested to me by a viewer who goes by the name Eddie Rojas. So, Eddie, this video is for you. And the pomade we'll be talking about today is the Solid Brilliant Team from Linetti, which I believe is somewhat overlooked, and not many people really talk about it. And according to Eddie, this Brilliant Team was used in the 1960 classic Italian film La Dolce Vita. And it has been around since 1946. Being a brilliant teen, you'd expect a light holder with lots of shine. That's exactly what this product delivers. It's just straight up petroleum jelly, mineral oil, and fragrance ingredients. Now, this is one of the few surviving classic pomades that still come in a rectangular container. If you open up this green box, you would find a nice plastic, rather rectangular shaped container with a logo at the front. I couldn't really think of any other classic pomade with a similar container shape like this except the classic Indonesian pomade called Lavender Pomade, which comes in a similar container like this, except that it's um, elliptical and not a rectangle, and it has a box art in front. This one just has the logo, and at the back, there's the name of the product on top, with um, 50 milliliters worth of product here, stated, engraved on the back of the container, and that it's made in Italy. If you open it up, you'll find that there is a removable white plastic tub that contains the product, which this little green looks straight up very greasy. So, of course, scooping it out should be no hassle at all. Just very light, very easy, like nothing. And the scent on it is sort of like a, a nice powdery lavender scent. It's different from the lavender scents you would find from Yardley or Tancho or Royal Crown Pomade, for the matter. All those products, they have somewhat of a different lavender scent to them. And I'd say they have their own take on the lavender scent. So each lavender scent of these pomades are unique to the other. The shine on it is um, a high shine. You can, even under the crappy lighting of the um, eco friendly, energy saving light bulbs in my bathroom, you can see that there's some added shine over here. And as you can tell by the way the comb moves my hair, it's just very, very easy to style with this, as expected, because this is um, just a solid brilliant team. It's a very light hold. It's easier than combing through Vaseline or petroleum jelly. Now, you wouldn't really expect this stuff to actually um, give you much control. It has decent control for a solid brilliant team, I'd say, but just as any other light pomade, it pretty much embraces the natural pattern of your hair. So if your hair is just um, super wavy, it just enhances those waves and so on. And it's just um, pretty easy to style with this stuff. There's not really much resistance to it, but it's just like a typical um, light, greasy resistance to it. And I'm, forming my part right now just trying to make it as straight as possible because i as you guys would already know i do love um my parts being really really straight and now the slickness on this is actually um not too slick it won't really give you a very very tight look I would normally use um, two scoops of product. And I, I can actually, some, on some days if my hair is really cooperating, I can just go by with just one. But most days I use two scoops, two finger scoops worth of product. And the wash building, this one, is, it actually comes out pretty easily. On With two scoops of product, I can get it out with just um, two rounds of shampoo without any hassle. And the buildup on this is actually, um, as you would expect, it's very light and sort of a greasy buildup. You wouldn't really expect so much of it. There's no noticeable increase in hold. However, for a light product, it does have a little bit more control at it the next day as you build it up. The shine does not increase whatsoever. It's pretty much like how it was on the um, 
first day of application. And this being a lighter greasy pomade, of course, there is, um, it is going to feel greasy. So if you're the kind of person who breaks out easily, I recommend you to steer away from products like these because they're just going to cause you to break out. Now this is what my hair looks like with the Burlington in it. And as you can tell, I can get a very neat and tidy style with it without being overly tight or super slick. Now this is how my hair looks at the start of the day in much better lighting. You can see that there is the high shine going on over there. And everything is pretty much slicked into place without being overly tight. And about five hours later, you don't really see so much movement there. It's actually pretty consistent other than the height being slightly lower, but it does not weigh your hair down too much. And everything's pretty much in a similar shape to how it was. The shine is still present. Now about its hold, let me just say that for a Brillantine, which you'd normally expect to be really light, it's got some hold to it. It's not really that bad. I would judge this hold to be a true light in the fact that it's not super light and not as light compared to many old school hairdressings out there. And for something that's pretty old school and light, it's got somewhat of a, a hold to it. But if you actually use a lot of it, say at least three scoops or more, it's a light medium at best, but I would judge it to be somewhat of a true light. But if you just style it in your hair directly with um, really damp hair, I mean, not dripping wet, but just um, on the borderline between damp and wet, it would bring a lighter hold and your hair wouldn't actually have um, so much hold to it. It would be a lot lighter, but after your hair just evaporates and there's just um, the product settles in and it's no longer damp, you would find that there is a better hold to it. But yeah, for a brilliant taint, its hold is actually not too bad. And my style can actually look like this for the rest of the day. It's pretty inconsistent for something that's very old school and light. And furthermore, I'd also um, say that the slickness on it is not impressive in the fact that for something that's supposed to be just petroleum, I expected more slickness out of it, but it has some slickness to it, obviously being an oil-based product, but it's not the kind of slickness that would make your hair look super, super tight as with say Royal Crown Pomade. But to be fair, this has um, not too thick of a consistency um, as something else that's greasy and petroleum based like um, Royal Crown Pomade to compare to it. It's softer than that, so, um, but still I actually expected a lot more slickness and tightness out of it. It won't make your hair super tight, but it's got enough slickness to keep your hair really neat just like this. And my final verdict on Linetti Burlington. Now this stuff is one of those classic pomades that you would really hear a lot. It's not discussed a lot. I noticed that more Europeans know about it than Americans do, which is not surprising given that this is Italian. And I'd say the favorite, my favorite things about it are the shine and the scent, but the scent does not really last. And the shine is all day, which is a good thing. And I do like how it can manage to keep my hair um, looking neat all day without weighing it down completely because for other brilliant teens, I notice that they tend to weigh down the hair and throughout the course of the day, they get on flatter and flatter. But this is not the case with Linetti Brilliant Teen because especially in colder weathers, my hair can look pretty consistent like this throughout the whole day, assuming that I don't move too much. So this is actually um, pretty much an underrated um, lighter classic pomade. And if you were an old school pomade junkie, if you love to cl um, collect classic pomades, this is something really worth looking into. And if you got insight out of this video, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, a comment down below, click on the bell icon so you never miss a single upload of mine, and subscribe, press that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay greasy, everybody.